Welcome to another episode of the 13 Tales of Halloween series. Today's story is called The Silent House. Val stood at the edge of the forgotten road, shrouded in a stillness that unnerved anyone who passed by. No birds fluttered in the trees. No crickets chirped in the overgrown grass. The wind, which stirred the leaves of the neighboring woods, seemed to avoid this place entirely. The silence hung over it like a suffocating fog, impenetrable and unnatural. Lena Harper stood before it, clutching the keys in her trembling hand. The realtor had tried to warn her. It's been vacant for years, he'd said, his voice laced with something like fear. People don't stay long. They say the quiet there is unsettling. That had been exactly what had drawn her to it. After years of noise, of chaos, Lena craved quiet. The bustling city and the incessant demands of her former life had worn her down. The isolation, the stillness of the house, felt like a remedy. She didn't care about the rumors, the superstitions whispered by the townsfolk. All she wanted was peace. But now, standing before the house, her breath misting in the late autumn air, she felt the weight of its silence pressing down on her. She shook off the unease, telling herself it was simply nerves. She had chosen this place for a reason. Inside, the air was cool and stale, as though it hadn't been disturbed in decades. Dust floated in the beams of weak sunlight that filtered through the grime-covered windows. Her footsteps, soft on the wooden floor, made no sound. She frowned, testing her steps, expecting at least a creak from the ancient floorboards. But nothing. The house seemed to swallow every noise, leaving her alone in a vacuum of silence. The stillness was so complete, it felt almost alive. Lena shook her head and began unpacking. As the hours passed, she busied herself with making the house livable again, wiping down surfaces, airing out the rooms, lighting candles to drive away the musty smell. Yet despite her efforts, the oppressive silence remained. That night, as she lay in bed, she found herself straining to hear anything, the rustle of leaves, the distant hum of the wind, the usual creaks and groans of an old house settling into itself. But there was nothing, only the dense, smothering, quiet, well, until the voices began. At first, they were faint, barely audible whispers drifting from the walls. Lena's eyes snapped open, her pulse quickening as she sat up, scanning the darkened room. The house was still, too still, but she was certain, certain she had heard something. She lay back down, her heart thudding in her chest, telling herself it was her imagination. The mind could play tricks in a place as quiet as this, but the whispers came again. This time they were clearer, multiple voices, low and murmuring, as though speaking from far away but drawing closer. Lena's skin prickled as she listened, straining to make out the words. She doesn't belong here. She doesn't know what happened. Leave before it's too late. Lena bolted upright, her breath caught in her throat. The voices were coming from within the walls, winding through the very bones of the house. She fumbled for the bedside lamp, her fingers shaking as she flicked it on. The soft glow cast long shadows across the room, but everything seemed as it should, except for the voices. Her eyes darted to the wall beside the bed, where the whispers seemed loudest. She pressed her ear against the cold plaster, her skin crawling at the sensation. The voices hissed through the walls, like a distant storm, their words fragmented but unmistakably filled with warning. Terrible things happened here. It's hungry. It's watching. Lena's stomach twisted, her mouth dry with fear. She pulled back from the wall, staring at it as though 
it might open up and swallow her whole. The house was trying to tell her something, something it didn't want her to know. Her instinct was to run, to flee this cursed place, but something held her back, a morbid curiosity, or perhaps a belief that she could silence the voices, reclaim the quiet she so desperately sought. She had chosen this house. It was hers. But the voices didn't stop. For days, they tormented her, growing louder with each passing night. They spoke of blood, of betrayal, of lives taken within these walls. Lena learned of a family long dead, their names lost to time, their fates sealed in the very foundation of the house. The whispers grew frantic, desperate, warning her to leave before the house claimed her as it had claimed them. But Lena couldn't leave. She was trapped, not by force, but by something more insidious, the silence. It had seeped into her bones, dulling her thoughts, draining her will. The house's quiet was no longer a refuge. It was a cage. Each night, the voices grew more persistent, more urgent. She's next. The house always. Lena found herself unable to sleep, her mind unraveling in the oppressive silence. She wandered the halls at night, staring at the walls, knowing something lurked just beyond them, watching her. The air in the house grew colder, heavier, the darkness thickening until it felt like a living thing. One night, the voices stopped. At first, Lena thought she'd gone deaf. The silence was so profound, so absolute, that it pressed in on her from all sides, filling her ears with its terrible weight. But then she realized it wasn't just silence. It was the house. It had finally grown hungry enough. As Lena stood in the center of the room, the air shifted and the walls seemed to close in. The shadows deepened, curling around her, and she felt the house stir. And then she understood. The silence had never been peace. It had been waiting. And that is the end of our 13 Tales of Halloween series. Thank you so much for joining me. Fabled is produced by me, Vanessa K. Eccles, with music by Katie Coffrin. <laughs>